What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Gamer Duo here, welcoming you guys back to some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Yes, I have to say the whole title. It's, it is what it is. In the last episode, Monokuma said somebody died. So we gotta go find out who died and why they died and all of the fun stuff. I don't, I don't know. We got access to the second floor a few episodes ago, so my guess if anything bad were to happen, it would be there. So, we should definitely check there first. But let's see. Maybe we'll get an exclamation point on the map. Probably not, though. I highly, highly, highly doubt that. No. I'm still going to go to the library, because that's the most suspicious place for me right now. Let's see. Did I pass the library already? No, I didn't. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'm just stressing for no reason. Ooh, maybe it's in that hidden room in the library. No, library is clear. Oh, boy. Bye, Kira. Do you have something to say? There's nothing of interest. Nothing here of interest, don't you agree? You should go back and look somewhere else. No, because here. Ah. Hmm. Uh. I know the library has been your hideaway lately. I'll let you be. I was just hopeful that it would be in there. Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. He talks about a machine gun. Oh, <gasps> wait. Could it be a suicide? Because he talked about his machine gun. And the only way to access the machine gun is via the pool. And going into the wrong locker room. Hifumi, did you die? Were you trying to be a pervert? I don't think there's any way I can... This door is the girls' locker room. I have no way of unlocking it. So I couldn't find out... I couldn't go enough... Even if I wanted to. That's true. Huh? The door is open, but there aren't supposed to be... But... Aren't these supposed to be locked? Oh, no. No, no, no. Okay, well, we found it, I think. Or is it nighttime? Wait, what? He's unlocked all the doors. Investigation. All clear now. Just as I thought. I Judging from what he just said, there's no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on. And the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh. Suspicious. <laughs> It seems nobody searched the locker room. Let's start with the girl's locker room. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door. And the door swung open without a second thought. And in that moment, time started to freeze. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh no! Why? Why does it every time end up being the character that I start to like? I literally talked to Chihiro the most. We had an in-depth conversation about voice recognition and programming voice recognition. Why, Chihiro? Toko, you son of a bitch. At least I was right about one thing. Because Toko is the... Toko would have found the one person that she could have taken down. You motherfucker. What? I don't know how long it took me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did... Oh. 
<laughs> oh my god. A wild, almost prime veal scream escaped from my mouth. I am so mad. Oh, of any character! Ah! I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. It surged out of me like a water from a spring gushing out of the ground. Bayakira, on the other hand, was probably just fine and totally chill. Most unusual, don't you think? He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this unfold in front of the TV screen. A look at Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow, and something had been written uh, uh, on the wall in blood. Bloodlust. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? No, that's my point. This murder is far too bizarre for an ev any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder is not a crime of passion or necessity. It's almost like whoever did this did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he had been trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... Hey, I heard screaming. Did something... Oh. Chihiro! Same, Taka. Same. I'm actually triggered. I'm actually upset by this. Like, of course. Body has been discovered. No. No, Monokuma. No, a body has not been discovered. I refuse. I refuse to let Chihiro die. What the hell was that? What? Ah, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka's, so you don't know what that's about. Anyway, you just heard... What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the, rec that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. Proceed fairly. The body discovery announcement? Then Chihiro really is... Naturally. Dead, yes. Da -da -da. Before you start screaming your head off, go around, uh, go round everybody up. It seems like another game has begun, another life or death to uncover a killer. Ugh. Why is it Chihiro? Taka bolted out of the locker room. As everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no, no time at all had passed. It was my, like my sense of time had just taken a wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there and gathered around Chihiro's body. I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we are now in the same position once again. What the fuck is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up. Agreed. Ugh. Okay. Well, first off, what? what okay, why? Okay, let's get the bloodlust thing out of the way. The word bloodlust is written on the wall so... in blood. I don't think this is any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly then slipping away before the police catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose greasly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation for abnormal, downright cruel killings. What is this? Then is, this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style. What, 
Why would anybody do that? Hmm. Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? Wait, are you saying that Genocide Jack is here in the school? No way! Th there's no way! Hmm. But going as far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I'm surprised at their stupidity. Well. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Uh. What is it now? Toko? Hina was pointing towards the entrance of the girls' locker room. Uh, Toko was the last to arrive, and now she is just standing there. <sighs> okay. I'm still mad at you. But you're innocent until proven guilty, and I hate it. No, 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 no. Why? 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 Gadunk. She f she fainted. That did not sound good. Totoko! Hina rushed over to collapse Toko and started trying to shake her awake. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh, that's right. I just remembered what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. So she is hemophobic. I imagine she does not want to watch too many horror films then. Uh, um... This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. No. No, I think it's okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like on purpose. Hmm. Um, so since she didn't fade on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha! Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up! As if she heard you. Toko suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. In such a strange reaction, in, I was a, at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. What the fud? In no time flat, she was just standing up. She is not a hemophobic person at all. She actually loathes the feeling of blood. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her emotions were totally unhap totally haphazard. Huh? What? Sorry about that. I was so shocked, you know. It happens, right? Was I the only one? Tatoko, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah! Whoa! It's a dead body! Hey! Are you dead? <laughs> She must have hit her head real hard when she faded. <laughs> the world in front of me! A top inning, a bottom, a sea of truth, and a web of lies! Wow. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. At least the stutter is all gone! <laughs> That's a good thing, right? Right? <laughs> it's clear to me that not everything is... Or, everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. It might be we best take her back to her room for the time being. I don't mind taking her. Could just someone help me? If you need help, I don't mind. Taka, could you help me? Huh? She totally ignored me. Very well. You take care of the girl. Oh, oh, that's what was happening in the last couple episodes. I accidentally tapped RB, so it was auto scrolling. <laughs> At least I didn't have too many problems when it was doing that, like reading it, everything. Okay, that's when you could. That's how you could tell the, the game is actually a good game because it gives you time to read things. But still, especially reading it out loud. Anyway, carrying on. <laughs> Very well. You can take care of the girl, and the rest of us will begin the investigation right away. I can assume that nobody has nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again. Hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation. The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, you surely realize that. Don't make me repeat my There's no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. <laughs> Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course. Right as a rain. But don't take it as a bad thing. In fact, it's just a, it's just a fact of life because <laughs> that's how graduation works. Then it happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us killed. 
a fellow classmate. Hmm? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls. You know that? <laughs> I can't even do the voice anymore. I was doing really good before. <laughs> Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Oh my god, Monokuma. I see. I see what you're into. Okay. Actually, I don't have it either. Sorry. So stop monologuing. Give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, chum. Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you've been looking forward to it. So please do your very tippy top best on this investigation. Oh, God. Do we really got another investigation? Yes, Hina. Yes, we do. We have an investigation. And it's, of course, Chihiro. Because, of course, but we already know who the killer is. Um, because, you know, she made it painfully obvious who the killer was. It's great. Examining the corpse of one of our friends. Having to suspect all of our other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. Oh, no. I hate it, too. I've had enough. I'm gonna get out of here. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Just accept it already. After all, the blood is just a liquid. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body in a simple object. <laughs> you are very enthusiastic about all this. How are you? Are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If I, we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That is true, but to jump into it so soon... What? What? Do you want to die? Fine, then go off and die somewhere else. Right now, go ahead. You are a waste of space anyways. A dead body is an object. Jahira wasn't an object. Show a little respect. I'll beat some of it into ya. Everyone, stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Bayakira said. Kyoko, if we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are for... Our our forfeit. And if Bayakira is right about Genocide Jack, or er, that Genocide Jack is somehow one of the ones, the one who killed Chihiro, That's right. then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims. If we mess this up, we're all dead meat. Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, then you don't gotta worry any longer. In anyone's killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people what in any one killing game the guilt oh my god we can have double kills monokuma why didn't you tell me that sooner i would have already committed to <laughs> i mean that's true but like also like you could have told us that sooner huh? what i don't remember a rule like that Surely? i just came up with it I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. So then. In that case, why not limit it to one person? Hey, um... Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys in the last next class trial. I can't say I understand his thinking, but... If we can get kill up to two people, then one more person's life could still be in danger. Hmm. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You, you need to shut the fuck up. Oh, well, well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop Toko off at her room. Nice, I'm gonna get dropped off. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation. Tout sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, Is that okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigate! First of all, I'd better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what went on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. Time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. That's all it says. 
Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about him. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Monokuma File 2 has it added to the Truth Bullet section of your handbook. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. A life without purpose is quite dull, you know? Um, what do you need? I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. What? Mister, I'm going to be standalone and not do anything is now all of a sudden okay with me being around? That's sus. What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. To solve? No, I, I just... Stop talking. You seem to have some limited use, which is why I have chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation, so you're inviting me to come with you. You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But, but we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Baikia today. Well, I know we're working with Baikia, but I still need to be here and around this. There's a dumbbell on the floor, and there's a blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Hmm. The Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blood object is what killed her. Does this mean that this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? Right. I can imagine it... I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Ha! That's a heavy dumbbell, though. Like... How many plates is that? Five? So, 50... That's probably like a 65-pound dumbbell. Oh, but could Toko realistically lift a 65-pound dumbbell? I don't think Toko could have lifted that big of a dumbbell. Unless she was really so motivated into getting a kill and being with Bayakira... There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have been splattered with blood during the murder. Okay, did we already get the bloodlust thing? I could feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. Jahiro's dead body. The more I look at it, it seems it must be Genocide Jack's handiwork. But, well, but, we're not sure if he did it. That's why. Is that what you want to say? I wonder about, I wonder about that. Hmm. Okay, I guess... Does this prawn poster have anything to do with anything? This poster's got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. Okay. I don't know why I investigated that, but I decided to do that. I use this locker room all the time, and now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else, then carried here. She was very light, this is true. It wouldn't be hard to carry her, but still. I still think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? She's been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise. But according to the Monokuma file, she was apparently killed here around 2 in the morning. She would have been exercising that late? Perhaps. Hina or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she was probably avoiding it then. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us on more than, one, more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. So instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. However. Perhaps. It is difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did start. She did want to exercise, start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she also would have come with somebody else? It's a possibility, I think. So Kira's account has been added to the Truth Bullets. Don't think Mondo would have anything like that to say, but dude has a, had a real complex about being weak. You heard Chihiro, right? Talk about it, right? All I need is to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember that she said that more than yeah. once. 
Sure did. Which, I guess, explains the trip down here. But, but did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all, and most girls aren't even that strong. Yeah. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that kind of stuff. This cause of Chihiro's complex. I can't help but wonder what that might be. Mondo's account. We actually did get something from talking to Mondo. Now I believe it's time for us to move on. Huh? Already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing here. We need to check every aspect of the case. That's true, but if you're satisfied, then let's hurry up and proceed. So he pushed. So he's so pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. So this is our next location, huh? This place is related to our investigation. Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't find if you don't right. Pool related items, security camera. Maybe this gun was used to. No, impossible. If that were true, Chihiro, Chihiro would be riddled with holes. Hmm. You've already spent plenty of time checking the crime in that scene. Okay, fine. See, it just autos to that. So maybe we go to the boys' locker room? That's not even the scene of a crime, idiot. Fine. What do you want from me? You could at least try and figure out where we should check without my help. Flotation donut. I don't really think it's related to what happened to Chihiro. I mean, it could have been. That's what I was trying to get to. Okay. If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work on it with our handbooks, right? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that and then quickly sharp and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? You called for me? Has she been has he been domesticated? That's right. It seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Okay, well, um about the car reader. Yep. Yes, the car reader has been designed to enter to interface with each each of your e-handbooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to your gender listed on the individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? If there was some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling-mounted Gatling gun would invite a Swiss cheese slaughter. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from le lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course. Correct, correct. So then, it means only girls can go in the girls' locker room, and only boys can go in the boys' locker room. In other words, Shahira's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hey, Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me. Allow me to be tell you what you're thinking. Since Shahira was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So in As words, such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get that right? Such. Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? You should, you should pay closer attention to the regulations and answer. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to other students is strictly prohibited. The act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of a noble Togami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hmm. Knowing you, I bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little extra excitement to things. Yeah You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. Now, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yeah. Got it? Got it? Good. Wait. Hold on. So you're saying there's a loophole. That's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means... Someone would have to loan it. So, uh. Why you? 
so sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Bayakia. Can get your poop together, or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence. More, no more questions. Figure out the rest on your own by your own damn self. That's fine. Well, you know, I know you are unfortunately lacking in the mental fac or f faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Let me head. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall. I'll help you understand what's going on. We came to the main hall. So, what are we looking at here? Does this mean I have to figure it out for myself? The hunk of metal blocking the entrance seems some kind of machine. What is this? There's a mailbox here. Could there be something inside? It's an e-handbook. No, wait. There's three of them. But what are they doing here? Hmm. So you finally found them. Huh? Did you see... Did you s know these were here by Ikea? <laughs> it hap I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of the dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sakia, uh, Sayaka. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when I did... Sayaka Maezono. You're right. This is Sayaka's handbook. Now you understand. This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You should pay closer attention to the regulations. That answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to stu another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. I see. Yeah, now I understand. The main hall e-handbooks have been added to the truth what? bullets. Hmm. Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbooks showed are the other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. So the one that weren't, won't turn on must be Leon's, right? It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. The memory came flooding back. The cruel punishment with led, which led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't surprise me if the handbook did break during that kind of an assault. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! What? The e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, and a super big deal. There is no way it would break that easily. But it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break! It could withstand up to 10 tons of pressure. It's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit with it. It wouldn't do crap. Oh, but, uh... Even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does. I can't hear you. But it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks. What? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weaknesses was, right? Hmm. hmm hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. What? But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma then disappeared. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's undeniably... But it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. Fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Broken e-handbook added to the truth bullet section. <laughs> okay, then. This should encourage a enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in, an earnest and, uh, in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite. These are just more cameras. It's going to be like, oh, that's a camera. Do you have more for us by Ikea? What do you mean by that by Ikea? To be exact, not quite. I certainly want to reveal Chihiro, Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, 
I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack, then you really think, you truly believe that Genocide Jack is the one who killed Chihiro? Absolutely. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. That murderous fiend is Genocide Jai Jack, all right. But nobody else could be it. It could, it could be a murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly and then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. And with that kind of nickname, and what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious killer? Genocide Jack. They say he killed thousands of people, and then got it. That's got to be an urban legend. Still, it could be one of us. Really, be that a demented psychotic killer like that? You're not wrong to wonder. But words mean little right now. I have something that'll prove it, and I can show you. Don't make me repeat myself. And I have the oh. I have the basis to believe and I have the basis to believe that I assure you Genocide Jack is one of us. Is there actually proof? There is someone I'd like to take you to. This will provide all the evidence you need. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence. Does that does something like that really Aha! Yay you two! Big trouble, I need your help. We're busy, leave us alone. But it's an emergency! Emergency! Come on, please, you've got to help. Please. This is a serious emergency. Please, please, you got to help me. Just calm down, Hina. I mean, but, but it's an emergency. An emergency. What happened? No. Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she's act she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do by Akia? Since it's Toko, I must admit I am intrigued. I suppose we can take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat myself. I didn't expect that. I thought for sure you'd just say no, and then that would be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry! Wait for us, Hina. It looks like she's headed to the dorms to, to Toko's room, most likely. You're right. It's Is Toko inside? Some kind of an emergency. You're talking to the wrong person, you waste of space. You guys are too slow. I think you're just too fast. So, what's this emergency? Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, to see how things were doing. When, and But when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out, and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff. That's fine. So we should talk. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. I may as well give it a shot. Oh, boy. The door swung open slowly and silently. Holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out of her body behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you pulling yourself up in your room. Leave me Hina alone. Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? Won't, won't allow it. Huh? We won't let Genocide Jack have control. And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. Whoa, what was that? Hmm. She's been acting like that the whole time when I rang a little while ago. I'll just drive out the killer. Just drive out the murderous fiend. It doesn't make sense, right? I was afraid to leave her there alone, so I tried to bust down her door, but it felt like something was holding it shut in or shut on the other side. But I couldn't budge. I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door. Does she think that think the same thing as Bayakia? Does she think the serial killer genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toro is scared? But... Whatever it is, I am really worried about her. Isn't there anyone who might be able to pers persuade her? 
by Kia is the only person that would be able to. But we'll try that theory in the next episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll continue this adventure in the Deadly Life section of Dang and Ropa. Bye!